Hey, how y'all doing? My name is Crystal Clark. I'm the owner of Nail Yeah, and I want to show y'all today how to do a home manicure so you can be cute during quarantine. She likes more of a round, so I'm going to round her nails off a little bit. You can use either your pusher or a wood pusher if you don't have a cuticle pusher at home. Just gonna push back in a circular motion. Clean up around the nails. Anything that's hanging, we'll, we'll clip it. But the rule is not to clip anything that's not hanging. So you see that? I'm gonna clip it. We're not gonna put the nipper down and then yank it off. This is a blade, so we'll let it do its own, do its work, work its magic. Okay, so we have the nails, the cuticles pushed back and the nails are trimmed. So we're just gonna go and clean under the nails. This is going to roughen the nail just a little bit, but also create a nice smooth surface to work on. And also, you know what too, this is gonna get rid of some of this cuticle that might be hanging around on the nail. If you got a buffer at home and you're trying to decide what side to use, use the side that's the most fine, not the more coarse side. Okay, so then I'm gonna take a little bit of acetone or alcohol, whichever one you have at home. I prefer acetone because it takes a little bit more oil off the nail. I'm just gonna wipe all that buffing over, over where we just buffed. So we're gonna put on base coat first. I like to start down at the base of the nail and just pull it back to the top of the nail. Then we'll go in with our color. One other thing about polishing is with this natural polish, with regular polish, um, wipe all the polish off the back of the brush. Everything you're gonna need is gonna be on the front of the brush. So dip it in, wipe it off. Start at the base of the nail. Just flatten your brush out and then just pull up. The thing that you need to remember is it's just better to do thin coats instead of thick coats. If it's a color that's kind of translucent and you don't want it to be translucent, it's better to do three thin coats than it is to try to do two thick coats because it'll take forever to dry. The way polish dries is through evaporation. So the thicker it is, the hard, the longer it's gonna take to evaporate. If you make a mistake, don't, don't worry about it. You can go back and fix it on the next coat. And we're just going back and doing the second coat now. The second coat is when you can go and hit those spots that you might have missed the first time. Because sometimes you're, it's really hard to cover your nail the first time. Either you don't have enough polish on the brush and you want to do that thin coat I was talking about, or you moved and missed something, or you just flat out didn't even see it. Because sometimes our nails can look just like our skin. Next, we're going to use the top coat, Seche Vite. My favorite for about 10 years now. All right, same thing. You want to do nice thin 
layer of this top coat. And I know there's a lot on the brush when I'm when I'm pulling it out and wiping it off. So I know I can start in one place and spread it. Next, we're gonna apply some of that crystal oil, cuticle oil. Rub it in. And you have your finished product. Thank mm -hmm. you. 